Hi, this is Lauren with Craft Some Joy. Welcome back to my channel and for anyone who's new, welcome and I hope you enjoy this video. So today I just wanted to take a few minutes and talk about five of my favorite Creative Memories products. Now if you've been watching any of my videos, you've probably seen me use some of these products, but I do want to take a little time today and talk about each one of these in a little more in depth and also exactly how to use it. These are again products. I am going to do another video where I'm going to talk about my favorite tools. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But today I'm going to talk about products. So let's get started and talk about the first item. Now, some of you may be familiar with Creative Memories products, and that's fine. You can skip ahead or move along as you like, but I do wanna just take some time and talk about some of my favorites and kind of why they are my favorites and, and exactly how I use them when I'm scrapbooking. So first off, you may be aware Creative Memories has some of the best adhesive I think out there. And there's actually four different types of adhesive that Creative Memories offers. There's repositionable, regular, vellum, and mini. Now, the only one that comes in a case is the regular adhesive, and it comes in this blue hard case with one of the refills already included. Once you have one of these cases, you can purchase a refill, and those refills come in three other types. Repositionable adhesive, which has this green insert, if you can see that, and then the vellum, which has a blue insert, and then the mini, which has a red insert, and then of course just the regular, which has a clear insert. Out of these four, I, I love them all and they all have great uses in my craft room. And I do wanna mention on the mini, the mini means mini because it is just a very, very small little strip of adhesive. So that's really great to use if you have a very thin strip of paper or embellishment that you're trying to get down on your paper. That's when the mini really comes into use. So that's one way that you can tell apart the different um, types of cartridges that are in here is from the color. But I just also wanted to mention that I did take a Sharpie and just write on the side so when my cartridge is down flat, I can see which one is which. And then I also have labeled these with my label maker and I just took the label tape and then added on the top of it which type of adhesive it is. So you can kind of see there how I just took the tape and cut it and put it right here on the edge so that if it's sitting in a basket this way, I can see which adhesive is which. Now I do wanna mention here that um, as I said earlier, the only one that comes with the case is the regular. And so I just ordered three extra cases so that I could always have the different types available. It is also just as easy to take a cartridge and just switch out the insert into which one you want. So if you don't wanna go ahead and invest in four separate containers, you can just keep the refills handy and then you know which one they are by color, and then you just pop in the one that you need. But I do like having uh, the four different cartridges, uh, and I think it's about a dollar more uh, to get the plastic case, And but again, they do come only with the regular, but you know, I just took the three refills out of here, and, and those I've already used up. So now I just have my different, my four different cartridges with the four different types of adhesive in it. So out of these four different adhesives, I just wanna take a minute here and talk a little bit more about the repositionable because I've noticed that not everybody may be aware about all of the benefits of the repositionable adhesive. I don't know if you can catch that, but it's little teeny, teeny, tiny dots. So how do you use it? This adhesive is perfect for all these different types of very intricate and delicate embellishments. And also perfect if you're cutting titles out of uh, with your Cricut or your brother's Scan and Cut. It's perfect for titles as well. 
Okay, so how do you use the repositionable adhesive? I showed you all those little dots on the adhesive strip, and what is really fantastic is when you are working with an intricate border strip like this one, those little dots are only going to adhere themselves to what they can touch. So those little dots are only going to adhere themselves to the places where there's paper and wherever there's a part where there's no paper, it's gonna stay on the strip. So one of the easiest ways I like to use the repositionable adhesive is to keep just kind of a scratch piece of paper. This is one of the index cards from a paper pack. And I just kind of keep this handy tucked in uh, where my paper is so that whenever I'm using the repositionable adhesive, I have something that all those extra little dots may need to stick to. So I take the strip and I just lay that down on my scratch paper and I'm gonna do two passes with my repositionable adhesive, one on each side. So I'm just gonna roll that down. You can see that it's just sticking and then I'm gonna roll it down the other side. And it's just that easy and that fast. And the dots are clear so you really don't see them. So now that you have that adhesive on there, you can just take that and put that directly down on a piece of cardstock. Now, what's so great about repositionable adhesive is that it is repositionable. So if you get that down and it doesn't quite go down exactly where you want it to, you can just lift it up again and then reapply it in a different position where you'd like it to go. Now this would also work if you are one of the type of scrapbookers and you're not quite sure whether you wanna put a piece of paper or a sticker or an embellishment down or whether you wanna move it. If you like to move things around a lot, I definitely recommend the repositionable adhesive so that uh, you have that flexibility of being able to move things around. Now this also works really well for the cut titles as I mentioned and any other kind of very delicate types of embellishment. Okay, so that's a little bit more about the repositionable adhesive from Creative Memories. Okay, so this next product is one that I have featured in my videos before and it is definitely one of my favorites. It's a relatively new product from Creative Memories and these are called Peekaboo Pockets. And you get 10 pockets, you get five four by six horizontal and five six by four vertical pockets in a pack and each pack is around $6 US. And these are fantastic for adding a few extra photos or journaling to your pages. And in my craft room tour, you've probably seen how I have these organized in an iris case, a five by seven case with a label on the top. And I love having a whole stack of these peekaboo pockets available for whenever I work on my pages. So let me show you how I use my peekaboo pockets. In my last video, I was able to uh, work with the Winterberry collection, which is a beautiful collection from Creative Memories that coordinates beautifully with snow pictures and snow days. And you can see right here how I added a peekaboo pocket right here to the edge of the page. And so I like putting my peekaboo pockets here on the edge so that when they're in an album, you can just flip it open and see uh, the inside and then also what's underneath. So here I just had a couple extra photos that I wanted to add to this two page spread and this pocket allowed me to put this photo in and this photo in and not have to either not include those on my two page spread or move them to yet another set of pages. They really, at less than a dollar a piece, they're economical for adding more photos to your layout pages. Now, uh, Creative Memories also does say you can take these pockets and actually adhere them directly to your page protector. So if you wanted to do kind of a flip open page, you could adhere the pocket directly to the front of your page protector and then it would flip open that way as well. So that's just another use that you can do for the peekaboo pockets. 
These are also great for journaling cards, as I mentioned, or you could put memorabilia in here. They're just a really nice size pocket. So for those of you with school age children and for those who um, work in their kids' school albums, this will, I wanna kind of show you how I also use those peekaboo pockets. And actually my next favorite uh, product from Creative Memories in a school album. And so this is my daughter's uh, school album and it's where I like to keep all of their artwork and projects from school and certificates and different things like that. And so here's again another way that I used the peekaboo pocket. So I just had a couple pictures that I wanted to add into this book and so I decided to just go ahead and add it right in to uh, the pocket pages. And this is actually one of my next favorite products and I especially use these when we are when I'm working in my kids school books so here you can see again I have the peekaboo pocket just kind of tucked right in here and then I also have the pocket page now that is another one of the products that I want to talk about and there are two sizes that you can get from Creative Memories. One is the 8.5 by 11 pocket page and that comes in a pack of 12 as well as the 12 by 12 pocket pages which also comes in a pack of 12. Okay so let's take a closer look at these two items and how we use those in our scrapbooks. So. First of all, the eight and a half by 11, I just wanna mention uh, this, both of these items have kind of gone through a few iterations over the years with Creative Memories. So originally we did have the eight and a half by 11 and it was a, a side, it was, I think first it was a top loading pocket and then it was a side loading pocket. And so this one that I have used here is a side loading pocket and those you may have those in your stash or your inventory but what is available now is the side loading pocket but this one has jeeping on the edge uh, and jeeping is this binding that they put on the side and the page, all of the Creative Memories pages also have the jeeping on the side and that just keeps your pages durable when you're flipping them. And so the new format for the eight and a half by 11 pocket pages does have the jeeping. So I just wanna kinda of go over that. When you do order the new packs from Creative Memories, they'll have that. But if you have the older pack, they'll look like this. And again, this was a side loading sleeve. So the 12 by 12 sleeves, you can see those here. And again, like I mentioned, I love using these in my school books and in my family albums for anything large. I'll put maps in it for travel albums and I'll just use these big large pockets for a lot of different things. Some people like to go ahead and print 12 by 12 pages if you work digitally and then you can just slip them in these 12 by 12 pockets and include those into your album as well. Now again these pages have also gone through a few iterations over the years. I know I still have in my stash, I have some that were top loading from Creative Memories with the jeeping on the side here. And then uh, they went to a side loading, much like the eight and a half by 11 size here, size here, it was a side loading sleeve. And then now currently the 12 by 12 pockets are again, top loading and so you can see there's a little slit right here at the top and so you can just slide in in the front and the back um, any kind of artwork or any kind of memorabilia or different things that you want to keep in these pockets. And I also want to mention that the paper, this big, this thick white cardstock that they uh, insert into the pockets is also acid free and lignin free and photo safe and so you could scrapbook directly on that paper if you so wanted to or you can just use it as a nice stabilizer for what you're putting in your pocket because it, it gives it a nice thick weight to it as you're flipping. So I just want to kind of show you a few other pages where I have included 
these pocket pages for artwork. Here's another one. So I'll typically just add in these pocket pages right in between my regular scrapbook pages and I'll just go ahead and include that right in. And you can see on this one I've included some artwork uh, for the season and again here is another peekaboo pocket. I'm going to kind of scoot this down so you can see. Here's a peekaboo pocket where I added a picture of my daughter on Halloween and her class on Halloween. And it goes right in here with her Halloween artwork for her pumpkin. So it's just a fun way to add all of these different elements and dimensions right into their albums. And here's another large 12 by 12 pocket page where I included different pieces of memorabilia right into the album. So you can kind of see how I've used that. And again, here's another one where I included artwork. And since these are 12 by 12, they really do hold a lot of those large format, at least any eight and a half by 11 or any of those larger uh, pieces of art that your kids might have done in school. So also I just want to mention, uh, these are archival. The sleeves are archival and they are made out of polypropylene. And so anything that is not safe, like this uh, construction paper that she did her artwork on, once you slip it inside the sleeve, that's going to keep it protected and it's not going to damage anything else. So if you if it was next to a photo here, then it would be fine because you've got this layer of protection with the polypropylene sleeve. So anyhow, that's one of the things that I, I do love about Creative Memories products is that they do make sure to uh, test their products and make sure that they are safe for anything that you're going to put into your album. Okay, so that's just a little bit more about how to use those two favorite products, the pocket pages in both 8.5 by 11 and 12 by 12, as well as the peekaboo pockets. Okay, so now let's move on and talk about another one of my favorite products from Creative Memories, and that is the Power Project folders. These come in a pack of four, and it's approximately uh, $20 US for a pack of four. And so each pocket is around $5. And again, I always encourage you, if you're interested in saving a little bit, you can sign up as a Creative Memories Consultant. And for a small yearly membership, you can get a discount on whatever products that you order from Creative Memories. So that's a really great way if you have a lot of different items that are on your wish list. Just to, it's so easy to sign up as a consultant and then you automatically get a discount on all of these wonderful, wonderful products. And you're welcome to check out my website at craftsomejoy.com and hit the join my team button. And it has a lot more information about the specifics of what it is to be a creative memories consultant. And I'm also very happy to answer any questions. So a little bit more about the Power Project folders. And uh, if you have seen my paper organization video, you'll notice that I use these folders to help organize my paper stash. And one of the reasons why I do include these folders is because they can hold so much stuff in one folder. Now, because of the price point, I don't recommend these for all the different packs. I mean, it would be nice if we could, but I do recommend these for larger collections. So you can see here, this one is for my Valentine's in Love collection. And I do have quite a bit of uh, paper and different packs. So if you've been around Creative Memories a while, you'll remember they had the additions packs and different things that you could purchase separately. And they had different stickers and different um, title stickers and different, let me pull some out, and different sticker strips like this that were themed for Valentine's. And so this was actually one of my favorite ones, the P.S. I Love You. And so what I ended up doing was just taking all of my Valentine's and love and putting them into this one 
power project folder. And that way, whenever I'm getting ready to work on a Valentine's or a love page, everything's here ready in one place. And I can just kind of flip through and see all the different things that I have for those types of pages. And if you'd like some more information on how I store my paper and different products in my, in my craft room, make sure you check out the video. I'll have that linked above and also in the description box below. Okay, so I do wanna just kinda of show you a little close up. So this does really hold quite a bit of paper as, you're, as you can see as I'm kinda of flipping through. It holds just a, a really big stack of paper in there. So let me show you exactly how I would load up one of these Power Project folders. So this is a pack that I just recently purchased. It does come with four of these pockets as well as some tabs if you want to label the tabs and put them in the top here. So each of these folders has a lot of different pockets which is really kind of fun and helps organize everything. You have two of these big pockets here on the bottom and then you have this long pocket here on the top. And then you have the little tab here where you can slide in the title of the collection that you have in here. And then there's a very large pocket and it's gusseted, so it has a side gusset right here, which is how you can store quite a bit of paper on the inside. And then on the back side are two additional pockets and these are full 12 inch pockets with a separator in the middle. So these are great for storing your border strips, uh, decorative strips, and your sticker strips. So I just want to show you how I would load this pocket up with a collection. And as I mentioned, these are definitely to be used with larger collections. And so one of the collections that Creative Memories came out with recently is the Rainbow Rush collection, which I absolutely love the colors in this collection. And so there were a lot of different components to this collection. So this is something that I would definitely put in a Power Project folder because you have so many different pieces that you can use together to create your pages. So you can see I've already just taken out the die cut embellishments and the layered stickers and tucked those in these front two pockets. And then we also have some more sticker strips. The Rainbow Rush, these are the uh, word and tag stickers. And by the way, these are absolutely some of my favorite, favorite stickers. I really love these word stickers to use on my pages to add just a little sentiment uh, when you're layering with stickers. They're just a perfect addition for that. So I just kind of wanted to tell you a little bit about this sticker pack in particular. I didn't really want to get into all the different sticker packs and paper packs because I do feel that that is a personal choice when you want to work on your pages. I do like the Creative Memories products because they have some really nice classic designs to them. And it is a product that is safe for my photos and has some really nice quality. So I always appreciate that whenever I am investing in my scrapbooking products. Okay, so you can see how I've just taken the sticker strips and slid them right here in the back, the divided part in the back. And then as I mentioned, I have the other stickers up here. Now this is the Rainbow Rush Layered Bordered Embellishments, which are so fun. They are really, really fun. So I got really excited when I saw these. And I'm just gonna give you a closer look at these two. So you get two sheets of these and they are already layered and uh, with dimension on them and just ready to put down on your scrapbook pages. And they really coordinate beautifully with the other products in this collection. So I'm, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and just tuck these in the back as well because I wanna keep those protected. So you can see these are still really nice and wide and that fits all of those goodies in there. So there's also embellishments in this collection. So again, that might be something I'd wanna include in a pocket, but since there's a lot of different little pieces, I actually am gonna keep it in the, the Ziploc bag and I'm just gonna tuck that right in with my die cut embellishments there. Okay, so let me show you 
all the room for the paper. So there were three different paper packs that went with the Rainbow Rush collection. This is the Rainbow Rush Bold. And I'm just gonna keep the index card with the paper and slide it right into my pocket here. And then the next one is Rainbow Rush Cheerful. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna keep the index right in front of the paper. And I'm gonna slide that inside as well. So that's two packs of paper. And each pack of paper has 12 sheets. So that's already 24 sheets. And here goes 36 sheets plus the index cards right here on the front. And you can see how easily that just slides right in to the Power Project folder. All right, so that is already quite a lot of different products in there. And as I would use this collection, if I had any leftover smaller strips, I might add them to this long pocket, or you could also add different pieces into the long pocket as well. So you have a lot of different choices with this folder on where you wanna store all of your different goodies. So then the last thing left to do would be, a, would be to label the project folder with the collection or with the theme that it's in. So as I mentioned, this one is Valentine's in Love, but I am going to label this collection Rainbow Rush. So I would just go ahead and write that. And then I would add the tag right to the front pocket so that that now is ready to go. So that is again another one of my favorite products from Creative Memories is the Power Project folder. And you can see definitely how much those can hold. And so especially when you're organizing paper, these are great to use for those seasonal categories. So if you have a lot of spring, summer, fall, and winter, different kits and embellishments, like different pieces that you've used up and you wanna all store in one section, this is a great way to kind of gather all of those things and, and hold them in one place because as you can see, they do hold quite a bit of product. Okay, so now let's talk about the fifth favorite product that I have from Creative Memories. And this is probably a favorite product for quite a few people out there, but this is the Power Sort Box. And this is a great place to hold all of your printed photographs. And I mentioned this box in my very first video, which is how to organize your photos uh, with photo folders. And I'm gonna leave a link for that video as well. So it does come unassembled, but it's pretty easy to go ahead and just put together. So the Power Store box is an archival box. It is also made out of polypropylene. So the plastic is completely safe to store your photographs in long-term. So something I just wanna mention about plastics is plastics don't really kind of go by the acid-free, lignin-free category. Plastics really, you wanna make sure that what you store your photographs in is a safe, stable plastic. And so polyethylene, polypropylene, those are stable plastics. What you want to avoid putting your photographs in is anything with PVC plastic in it because that is a not that is not as stable of a plastic and over time it will deteriorate and it will emit some chemicals that can be harmful to your photos. So that's just a little bit about photo safety. I encourage you to do your own research, but that is just what I've learned about how to store your photographs for long-term storage. So I have talked in a lot of different videos about how to organize your photos and how to print them and how to store them. And I've kind of tried a few different ways of storing my photos, but really I keep coming back to this power sort box. And uh, again, one is that I do know that it is archival so that anything that I do include in here is going to be protected long-term. 
And so I just want to first of all mention that. So as you get this box, you're going to have to do a few little things to get it uh, all situated for you and your photos. So this is the cover to the box and you also get a pack of insert tabs and these are also photo safe. This is also made out of polypropylene. And so that's safe to put right next to your photographs as well. But I just wanna mention that the lid does have a little flap here. And so if you have any larger memorabilia or a larger photograph, you can also slide that in and you can keep that tucked into the lid of the box. This is the base of the box. And so when you get the box, you kind of have to work it open. And sometimes I kind of just like to go ahead and work it open that way. And then you've got the back side. And again, work that open. And then you've got some tabs here on the side and you need to fold this edge down like that. And then the same for the other side. I wanna fold that in just so it's in the right place. Okay, so you want these edges to be folded in and then we're just gonna go ahead and close up. And you just kinda of snap those sides right into the holes. Okay, that go in there, okay. And then the same for the other side. Just pop those right in you hear them kind of snap in. There you go. Whoop, that one popped out. Let's pop that back in. Okay, so those are, those little tabs are tucked in. And now you have a base. And I do want to mention, you know, it's really stiff when you first purchase one, but over time they do really kind of loosen up and, uh, and work into the shape that they need to be. So once they, once you have your base, you also get a pack of these six little compartments that go right in here. And these are really easy to put together. And this is where you will store your photographs. Now these are meant to hold both four by six and five by seven photographs. So they come flat like this. And again, you just kind of, I'm gonna move that out of the way so you can see. And again, you just kind of work it open a little bit. Push these down, make your creases, and then this back part right here goes on the outside, and then these just flip right into the slots. Okay, and now you have a perfect little compartment for your photograph. So these do fit right inside the base of your power sort box. And they also hold the photo folders, which I mentioned earlier. And so you can just go ahead and pop those folders right into the power sort box as you have them organized into the photo folders. So a lot of people mentioned, oh, I wish that this box came with a lot more of these tabs to kind of organize the different categories. But what I found is really the photo folders is what helps me really keep track of all of my different photos because I can just flip right through and everything is organized and noted into a date and a theme. And I know exactly what I have in my power sort box. So just as an FYI, these, uh, when they are folded, with just an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, they do kind of stick up just a smidge above the top of the power sort box. So with my little photo folders in here, the lid does still work. It's just that it doesn't go down quite as low as it would if it didn't have that little extra bit at the top. But it does keep everything dust free and tidy and the lid is on there securely, even with the photo folders all labeled inside. It does have a little label here at front that you can go ahead and include uh, the year or the category or whatever kind of pictures you have inside and you can just make a cute little tag and slip it right here in the front. So just as a last note on the power sort box, uh, most of the time when I am working on a project, I'll go ahead and take the bottom and just slip it right into the lid. And then I keep this next to where I'm working. I have all of my pages organized and I can just grab that one compartment and then I just have those photos ready to work with. 
So I also just want to mention that this box does hold up to 1,200 photographs, so that's quite a few photographs. If you're using my folders, I would say it's a little less than that because the paper does take up some room, but it does hold quite a few photographs in one box. And these boxes do sell for around $30 US. So again, it's quite a value when you can consider how many photographs you can store in here, especially as you scrapbook, you're gonna use up your photos and so you can just keep all of just those extra ones uh, and several years all in one box. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about my five favorite Creative Memories products. And again, that was the repositionable adhesive, the peekaboo pockets, the pocket pages, the power project folders, and the power sort box. And a little bit more about how to use each of these different five products. So if you have any other questions, please be sure to leave it in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer any other questions you have about products. And stay tuned because I will be talking about my five favorite Creative Memories tools in an upcoming video. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed the content. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to get notified of when my videos are posted, make sure you hit the little bell so that you create notifications about my videos in your YouTube feed. And until next time, I hope you take time to craft some joy. Take care.